let us talk about attributes now. Okay. Now this is also a property of data warehouse. What is attribute? Attribute is nothing but it helps defining measure. Okay, it helps in defining measure. Help to measure. Okay, we'll just simply understand what it is. Now we know measures are numbers, right? So suppose if I tell you this is three thousand. Does this mean anything? No. Okay. Until I say total sales, for example, just take it like total sales is three thousand. Does this mean anything to you? Do you understand whether it is per month, per store, per product? What is the total sale? Do you know? No, right? Until then, I give you something supportive. I tell you this is per month. Okay. Now this per month supports this total sale, right? So what is this month? This is date, okay, which is actually a attribute. Okay. Now if I tell you total sale per store. Okay, this per store becomes your attribute. Now we understand, right? What is attribute and it help measures. Without attribute, measures are not calculated. You can say it it are calculated, but it does not have a logical meaning. So to give the measures a logical meaning, it is very important that the attributes are defined properly. So when we talk about measures and attributes, now come the important part. Okay, the most important factor is grain. Now, when we talk about grain, okay, what is a grain in data warehouse? Okay, so it is very important. Okay, to design a data warehouse, you have to determine the grain first. Now, suppose you are de designing a data modeling a warehouse, so you have to first determine the grain. Without the proper grain, you cannot data model a warehouse. This is the first point about grain. Now, what is grain? Grain is the level of measurement that needs to be taken. Okay, level of measurement. In simple term, it is level of measurement. Consider you have a fact. Okay, this is our sales. Now, what you are doing is you are calculating each day for each store what is the total sales. Okay, so your record is basically at the atomic level of per day, per store, total sales. Okay, so this is the grain of this. This is the atomicity. Okay, so this is the grain. Now suppose you have aggregated this. Okay, you have done some aggregation and you have rolled it up to month for example okay so now your fact is this is sales per month you are calculating okay so this is month this is store and this is sales so now your, your grain becomes per month per store sales okay so this is your grain now Okay, so this is very important to understand because once you design your warehouse, okay, so that completely depends on the type of grain that you have defined. So if, if it is a lower level grain, so if it is a lower level grain, you can roll up to calculate a higher level grain. Okay, but if it is a higher level grain that you have designed, consider you have designed by default a month uh, sales, then you cannot roll it down to date right but if you have a date you can roll it up to month okay so if you de de designed a warehouse for per day per store per sales then you can roll it up to per month you can do a calculation and on this fact table itself you can determine the per month calculations right but if you have if you have designed it by default on month you cannot roll it down so it is very important to this is the main reason why it is very important to determine the grain before you data model your warehouse okay now you have one more topic which is very important which is called kpi you have heard this term, kpi kpi is nothing it's key performance indicator
so kpi are taken in account before we start our modeling okay so what is the main reason you are doing the data warehouse this is the main reason okay why you are doing the data modeling for data warehouse okay this is the main reason you have to understand the kpi suppose a customer comes to you and tell tells you that uh, please design me a warehouse where i can calculate my sales per store per day okay so then this is your data model here okay now he tells you tomorrow that i have to roll it up for month suppose i want to find out my monthly sales for each store then you can use the same fact right so that is your kpi here or else if it is like a huge volume you cannot support it on the uh, lower level grain you roll it up and save it in a different aggregated fact say then you show the reports from sales month so these are your key performance indicator over which you have determined and designed your warehouse this is why kpi are very important to determine because without understanding the kpis you cannot design your warehouse from the beginning you have to understand what is the requirement this requirement comes from this kpi the client requirement is basically the kpi so you can for definition you can say it's the measurable value of a company's performance okay it's a measurable value for company's performance okay so now we are clear about attribute measure and kpis right now one important thing that is left now what is the place for a measure in data warehouse it are fact tables let me write it in a clear way fact table a major 90 percent time not 90 you can say 99 percent time sits in a fact table okay it sits 99 percent times okay if you have designed your data warehouse well okay now attributes sits in dimensions okay so this is how it is this is how facts and dimensions are designed you have to identify measures and attributes and place them accordingly in facts and dimensions this is very important in data warehouse okay so before i wrap up this session i have few questions to tell you which are very important as a interview perspective okay now, what are measures and attributes now it is very important to determine whether a given thing is a measure or attribute for example the interviewer might ask you uh, building number whether it is a measure and attribute now you know we cannot sum it up right we cannot have a logical meaning after summation even if we do a sum it does not give us a meaning right so building number that's an attribute okay similarly room number floor number those are attributes each every number cannot be a mm, so you have to know every number everything that can be summed is not an attribute every number is not a measure okay you have to determine okay now certain times it might uh, strike you that this is a measure for example price of a product okay price of a product is an attribute why because it is a price of a product okay without a product a price does not mean i tell you 30 rupees does it mean anything no i will tell you 30 rupees of product a it means the product a price is 30 so it's an attribute of a product it's very important now when you uh, multiply it with quantity and make it subtotal or a total then it becomes a measure okay so it is very important to understand what is attribute and what is a measure so this is a very important ask in an interview question for data warehouse okay other than this what are kpis and what are what is grain how do you determine a grain okay determine how how they, they can give you a fact and ask you to determine the grain of the fact right you understand this example so this is how it is done we'll see in our next uh, in our next videos we'll talk about uh, we'll start with uh, dimensions we'll talk about type of dimensions then we'll cover facts and type of facts then we'll see a demo in our upcoming videos.